and welcome back to Rare Brew Crafts. It's Sarah here and I am coming on to just share some projects with you. So I've been busy over the last couple of days making some birthday cards. There's been a few birthdays in the family and one coming up so um, I've been making some birthday cards. Um, I have had some bits and bobs delivered so I will do a haul video at some point. Um, so I've got a few things coming up over the next few days. Um, but I thought I'd start off by showing you cards I've made. So this is the first one um, that I made for my husband's uh, birthday. All of the cards, I quite often use these um, kits from Craft Your Print these days. Um, I'm not a, I don't um, promote their company. I just, I like them, so I buy them. Um, they're nice and easy to, to use and you can jazz them up a little bit. So on this one, this is some washi tape that I'd got in my stash um, and I have done a little bit of um, pencil work to bring out um, certain elements so his coat and trousers and everything all just sort of blended into one and that's probably just my printer um, I haven't got the best printer in the world um, but just with a little bit of pencil um, a little bit of charcoal I've managed to put a little bit of definition back into that jacket and, and under the the jacket there for the trouser legs and I coloured the boots in with a black gloss pen and put some little white highlights on with a gel pen and I've done similar with the eyes and the helmet again I've just put some dark in put some shadows on either side to sort of give it that rounded appearance I put a little bit of um, alcohol marker in his face just to brighten up his um, his skin tone a little bit and then on his lantern I've actually um, embossed it with a holographic embossing powder so this just had one coat i just went over with a versmark pen um, and then put some holographic um, embossing powder on it and then on the actual lantern itself i put two layers of the holographic and then i've put two layers of just clear over the top so it's got a really really good high shine to it um, yeah and then um, it's just got an inside that that matches and again i've put some of the washi tape and then where i've had to join the card stock on the back um, I've put another strip of that washi tape um, just to sort of tie everything together um, and my husband really loved it he thought it was really really fun it was his birthday yesterday um, and then I've got another one which um, I've got to pop up to my brother-in-law later today because it is his birthday today too um, and again I got one of the kits um, and I have laid it all up using the cardboard um, as I normally do um, I thought this one was quite fun um, and I've used embossing powder again to give the bottle and the glass and the, the ceramic bowl some high shine so that it actually does look like glass which I thought was really quite cool um, I, I'm going to put a few little gems on but I haven't I haven't done that yet actually so I need to do that and then on the inside again it's got this lovely um, matching uh, inner to the card um, and again I've just put a bit of uh, matching washi tape on the back there just to cover where I have joined the two pieces of cardstock and um, because the cards are seven by seven um, unless you've got a three card I think you might be able to do it with but um, if you use an A4 cardstock, which is what I've been using, this is Centura Pearl cardstock. I think this is the pale gold. Um, if, you, if that's what you're using, then you, you do have to join a couple of pieces. But I, I don't think you notice, especially with when you've got the inners on these cards. Um, if you put a strip of washi across the back there, it's all good. So that's that one. And then finally, I've got one of my niece's birthdays coming up. Um, so I bought this kit. Um, again, this was actually one that was all on one sheet, so I've printed it out twice so that I could um, pop the, the head up. I might put a little bit of flocking on the little deer, actually, um, now I'm looking at it. Um, I think that might might be quite cute, um, and I'll probably put some... Um, what's it called? Yes, mm, liquid pearls. Some dark liquid pearl on her nose, just to bring her nose out a little bit more um i've embossed a with a swiss um, dot embossing folder i've embossed a silvery it's a dark silver centura pearl and then it's actually all layered up on a pink one and this time the front of the cardstock was just um just small enough that i could fit it all on one a4 sheet so when i cut the extra one out so that i could have an extra one of the deer's head obviously i'd got the whole sheet 
So I've actually fussy cut out the frame. So I've cut out all of the inside bit to make a frame to go on the inside of this card because it doesn't come with an inner sheet, this one. The other ones are like little mini kits. This just all comes as one A4 sheet. But I think that that looks really, really pretty like that. And then I've just put one of my stickers on the back there. So I think I might just flock the, um, the little deer um, and sort of bring her nose and her antlers out a little bit. Um, but other than that, I think that one's ready. I've popped a few little diamantes. I found a little happy birthday sentiment in my stash. Um, and I will probably find a stamp out so that I can stamp happy birthday in there. But it's not her birthday for another week, so I can finish that one off at my leisure. Um, but I would like to uh, get my uh, brother-in-law's card over to him this afternoon. So he's got it for his birthday with his birthday present. Um, so I wanted to get on early enough and get this done. So I'm going to um, jump off and get these finished so that when my husband's up and about, he can run this over to my brother-in-law so that's it from me for now i hope you've enjoyed a quick look at the cards that i've made um like i say that's all i've really done for the last couple of days is is do these cards um and i have got um quite a few things planned for the next few days so hopefully over the next week or two in the run-up to christmas there will be a few videos to watch i just want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel i really really appreciate it i really appreciate having everybody that uh, you know joins in and comments on my videos um so do let me know which is your favorite um and uh, I'd, I'd be interested to see uh, which your favourite is and, and if you um, ever use any kits like this or do you tend to just go completely freestyle um, I did do some mixed media ones a couple of, uh, couple of weeks ago really enjoyed that totally totally freestyle um, but yeah I like a I like a bit of variety and sometimes these kits are um, just fun and uh, sort of quite easy to put together so uh, yeah enjoy them so that's it from me for now I am rambling and waffling on as I am prone to do so I will see you all again very soon in another crafty video bye for now